just me who couldn't sleep a wink now. Actually, I was wondering if I might go and pick her up a bit early. Oh, I think we should use all the time we have just to get ourselves prepared. Right. Well, I really don't know where to start. Oh, and you realise we're going to have to have a nanny again if I want to carry on working? We can deal with that when the time comes. Look, if I set off now to no, pick no. her up... No, no. Zoe, once you board a home, she'll be here forever. Let's just make sure we're ready. But we are. Oh, have you thought about where she's going to sleep? Yes, of course. In with me. On what? Oh, I see. Yeah, she needs a cot, a buggy, a playpen, some Yeah, mats, yeah, yeah. Or... Well, I don't have time to go shopping first. It's OK. I haven't even picked her up yet. I'm already a terrible mama. I'll go. I want to. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Whoops. Come on, Victoria. We're going to be late. You said we could make pancakes first. Well, we could have if we got up earlier. Have you got your homework? But you promised. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? I'm not going. Oh, look, they'll all make pancakes for you after school, won't you? Uh, I've got too much on. I don't want time, I'll be back. I've got homework. Get your coat, Victoria. Robert. What? You refused to babysit. And now you won't spend half an hour entertaining your little sister. What's going on? Well, if you give me a bit more notice, maybe. So, how can I put this? After school, you'll fetch Victoria home, and you will make pancakes for her, however many she wants. Got it? Dad. Robert says he can't wait to do some cooking with you. <laughs> See you later. You two can help and all. Come on. Passes a sugar pumpkin. Emily. Emily. You all right? It's bad for you. Listen, they, he told us we weren't getting into trouble. All right, we might have to do a little That's bit of retraining. That's what I'm worried about. Oh. Miss Debbie, I think I should be at the funeral with her. No, you shouldn't. Bill told us we need to pull back from the whole situation for a bit and I happen to agree with him. I know what it's like to lose a mother. We both do. Well, I don't think she should be facing that on her own. But it might not be us she wants there, though. Well, Charity won't even be thinking about her, will she? And even if you did go, you'd only be upsetting yourself. She's on her own. Emily, we are not her parents. I know that. But it looks like we're the only ones who want to be. I just think it would be best for us and for Debbie if, if we just try to keep her distance. Paddy! And it's what Bill wants, and if we ever want to stand a chance of fostering ever again, I, I happen to think we should listen to him. Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, in a minute. Hey, morning off me. Nice long bath. Might watch a vid, put my feet up. <laughs> Marlon, can I ask you something? But I don't want you to take it the wrong way. Go on. Do you feel married? What? Yeah, of course I do. No, I mean, really. I mean, don't you sometimes think, well, is that it? Is, is that all there is? <laughs> well, um, thanks for the vote of confidence, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly content, thank you. At least I was. Now, when you were younger, did you ever imagine who you might end up with? <laughs> yeah, I did. Somebody a bit like you. Oh. I always thought I'd marry a big blonde fella with a stomach like an ironing board. <laughs> Did you? Well, I'm just telling you how I feel. Well, so, what did you expect it to be like, our marriage, then? Oh, I don't know. I just thought we'd be doing lots of married things. Like what? I don't know. A bit of decorating, DIY, home improvements. Here, look. We could copy this place. <laughs> a luxury loft apartment? Overlooking the Thames. Yeah. We live in a two-up, two-down overlooking the Woolpack. Yeah, but it doesn't mean we can't have... aspirations. So, just, <laughs> if I slap me overalls on then and get me tools out, you might think we're more like a proper couple. Yeah. Well, you could stick our wedding picture up for a start, find a nice spot for it. I might. Oh, don't go all funny on me, cos I'm perfectly happy being married to you. Good. You belay. Enjoy your lazy morning. Yeah, I will, yeah. Well, bye then. Bye. Marlon? Oh. Good morning. Come in. And it is a good morning. How are you? Uh, how are you getting on with Stella? Oh, well, she still hasn't unpacked from a holiday. I'm hoping it's because she's not stopping. Yeah. Nicola! Oh, boy, sure. 
Rodney. Hiya. <laughs> oh, turn me back off. Hi. So they've accepted your offer on Mill Cottage. Yes. How did you know? It was a good offer. I'm thinking of making one myself. A real cottage? For a house in France. For my retirement. Really? And can you afford it? Well, I'll put a bit by when I can yeah. and uh, manage to add to it when I was away. Uh -huh. <laughs> but don't worry. I won't leave before saying goodbye. You're going? Not yet. Oh, I've got my hopes up. Steph was just saying that she's thinking about moving to France when she retires. Not long to wait, then. And uh, would you like to say hello to the new owner of Mill Cottage? They said yes! Yeah. Oh, that sounds fantastic! <laughs> oh, when do we move in? We. Oh, I, I, I meant... Um... Oh, Nicola said she's definitely moving in with you. Well, seeing as how she's got you wrapped round her little finger. But it's whatever you decide, isn't it? In any case, I'm really happy for you, Dad. Yeah. <sighs> Have you found your Mr. Right? Oh, bless her, she's filled it in. <laughs> C, 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 C. There we go, mainly C's. Who is this good for nothing waste of space? Who thinks he's still living in the Stone Age? Do yourself a favour. Ditch Mr. Wrong now and find someone a bit more with it. Ditch Mr. Wrong. Trisha. You tell Wilf to keep her out the lake if he wants this to get any better. OK. Everything all right? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, well, no, it's Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have asked. It's all right. I, I knew we shouldn't have got involved in this fostering thing. It's far too sensitive for her own good. I'm, I'm not saying that you're not. Oh, it was different with us. We knew Andy before we took him on. So I heard about Charity being Debbie's mother. What? Didn't take long to get round, did it? Social services won't want her housed in the village now, then, will they? Uh, they've asked us to try and be a bit more detached. <laughs> Easy said. Yeah, it is. Only for Emily, I think it's a bit too late for that. How about you? Paddy, can you take a look at this and tell me what the hell's going on? Mom, I'm with a client. Hmm? I'm sorry, but this is urgent. Can you just get out a second? I'll wait outside. Oh, no, it's all right. We're done. Twice a day till it clears up. All right, and we need time to wear gloves while he's doing it. Um, if you ever want to talk things over. Thanks, Jack. Come on, girl. Come on. What? Luke, I've only been married a fortnight and I think it's already on the rocks. This is what she thinks of me, right? Where is it? Here we are. Useless, unromantic, and less fun in bed than a leaky hot water bottle. And she talks about any of this to you? Not in so many words. And have you changed in any way over the past couple of weeks? No. Right, well, look at the effort she put into the marriage. She didn't have to, she wanted to. Well, well maybe she just felt she couldn't get out of it. Well, you are so stupid. You don't really believe any of this, do you? I'm just... I'm, I'm worried that, that I'm not her idea of a, of a real man. I'm just... I cook for a living, for heaven's sake. You know, I can barely hammer a nail in. I'm, I'm, I'm sagging all the wrong places. I mean, look at him! Well, I'm sorry, but I just don't have time for any of this at the moment. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought you were a friend, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, because I am. It's just that, at the moment, I've got my own troubles to deal with. Got my own. Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. I wasn't thinking. It shouldn't even be me you're coming to. Go and talk to Tricia. You back then? Why someone couldn't come round here today and put all this together, I don't know. 
You've taken a sudden interest in all this baby stuff, haven't you? I'm just trying to be supportive. <sighs> Couldn't have been more against it before, though, could you? Have an abortion, Zoe. Who knows who the father is? Yeah. Well, we just have to make the best of things now, don't we? You're glad she's not giving up, though, aren't you? Once she was born, I realised that who the father was doesn't matter. That it's just Jean and her mother who count. And all this sudden change of heart overnight. No, I've been hoping for a while that Zoe will change her mind, do the right thing. Oh, right, meaning I didn't we, Debbie? That is completely different. <laughs> so, you and Zoe are all pally again. How nice. She's bringing her baby back here today. I think the least we could do is be happy for her. Now, pass us those, will you? I'm going out. Ashley? In the vestry. Oh, oh I'm sorry to barge in. Not at all. Um, there's something I have to tell you. Is everything all right? Yes, yes. I just didn't want you seeing us together to be the way that you found out. Found out what? That I've changed my mind. I'm on my way to pick up Jean. She's coming to live at home farm. Oh, Zoe! When did this... Oh, when, when they asked me to sign the adoption papers and... and I couldn't and that's when I knew. Zoe, I am so, so very, very oh. pleased for you. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, only last week I was denying that I had any doubts about giving away and... You don't think that it's a bit too sudden, do you? Not if you don't. I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things against me, but... But this is what you really want? I have no doubt about that anymore. Then I think Jean's a very lucky young lady and I wish you both every happiness. Oh, actually, <laughs> I couldn't imagine being any happier. Bob, mm -hmm. who would you say your main influence is when it comes to interior design? Oh, you best talk to Viv about that kind of thing. Yeah, I'll leave all that to her, you know. All right. But I'd guess, I'd say a strong influence was Blackpool B&Bs of the early 70s. Charity! Uh, Arthur Lager and whatever they're having. Oh, she looks like she's going to be a bundle of laughs. Meaning I haven't been either. Listen, I'm not complaining. You can't be dancing on the tables all the time, can you? Well, it's not that I'm in a mood, Scott. I'm just fed up of not having a job, that's all. You know, I'm bringing enough into to the old night out in town, you know. It's more than that, though. It's self-esteem. It's not having to sit in here every lunchtime. Right, well, that's it. We're going out tonight. Take your mind off things. Mm. Ah, right, there we go. Cheers. Don't usually come in during the day. Oh, I had to get out of the house. Chris has turned it into some kind of high-tech kindergarten. New business venture, is it? Hardly. Kid's going to be spoilt rotten in the usual Tate manner. Chuck loads of money at him, but that's about it. Well, if you've got it. The flaming buggy looks like it'll go off-road better than a 4 by 4 A buggy? Joseph's a bit old for a buggy, isn't he? Joseph? No, it's fuck baby. You've lost me. Zoe's only gone and changed your mind about baby Jean. She's gonna keep it. What? Well, she came to sign the adoption papers and couldn't go through with it. So they're gonna make up for it, not knowing its father, by buying it everything it wants. Trisha, there's something I want to know. Have you finished all your chores? Hmm? Yeah. Good. What do you want to know? Have you got any dry roasted peanuts? Oh, I'll just fetch some. Thanks. How the newlyweds? Still honeymooning, are we? Well, actually, Bob, I wonder if I could get a bit of advice, man to man, you know. About happy marital relations? Yeah. yeah finding the girl of your dreams, keeping it all happily swimming along. That, that kind of thing. Yeah, pit the wrong bloke here, haven't you? Yes, mate. I know what you're after. Do you? Well, you want advice from a guy who understands women. And that's you, is it? You see, where most guys go wrong is thinking that women are really complicated. And they're not. <laughs> they're not. They're dead simple. You've just got to let them know who's boss. They like it. They know where they stand. They feel secure. Yeah, and your experience of married life is based upon... Years of careful observation. Tip Bob, right? He does everything that Viv tells him, but is he happy? Danny, would, 
Would you say, right, my physique was average to quite good? Understand, sir? No. Come with me. I think I've got something that might help you out. Oh. I hope you don't mind. I've, I've brought my friend with me. Not at all. I'm a single parent, too. Jenny's going to take you through her routine, show you how to make up her bottles, when she likes to sleep, everything. Right. If you're having any second thoughts at all... No, I'm not. Your life is going to be completely turned on its head from now on. Oh, I'm... Uh, I'm ready for that. Oh, that's what we all say at first. And we're usually right. <laughs> You'll get lots of support. I'll check up on you as often as you need. Is that because of my illness? Because every new mother needs as much help as she can get. The, um... The people who are going to adopt Jean... Have you told them yet? That's not something for you to worry about. Here we are. Now, I've put in something warm for the journey, and I've given you this. It smells familiar. It'll help soothe her. Would you like to take her? Here we go. Hello, darling. Right, we can uh, watch a video or something. No! I was about to play a game. All of us. Hide and seek, Cluedo, whatever. Help me out, I'm not moving. I've only just got in. We're making pancakes, all of us. Victoria? Oh, I'm telling Dad. <laughs> Yeah. Took me all afternoon, but Terry gave me a hand. Mm. I'm sure Zoe will appreciate it. Yeah, she should be back in a minute. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to imply that you haven't done the right thing with Debbie. You don't have to apologise, Chris. She wouldn't have had much of a life with me, would she? No one's disagreeing with you. I know she's going through our time at the moment, but she'll get over it. There's nothing I can do to help. I did the best I could. I know. Anyway, I've just come back to get changed. I'm going to go out. Where? I don't know. Anywhere. I just... I don't want to be here when... I'll see you later. <coughs> OK, then. So physical fitness isn't just a way of life. It's it's a state of mind. OK, then, let's go. OK, march it out. Nice active march. Slow dips down. Down and up. Check your knees are following the line of your toes. Two more to go. Good. Let's do it on tempo. Here we go. Four, eight and seven and six. Four more to go and hold it down there. Four. But, Dad... Good evening. Good evening. You have to get me out of there. I'm worried I might have to do her some physical harm. I just think it'd be better for both of us if we have our own space. You're not giving Steph a chance. Well, you have to have the patience of a flipping saint to spend more than five minutes with her. She won't be there forever. She'll find a place of her own. Well, so let me live with you until she does. Nicola! It's just... I remember how happy I was when I was little. Waiting for you at the front door with... Your slippers and the paper. I'm bringing you cups of tea and breakfast in bed. None of that ever happened. No, but it will this time. Oh, Dad, please, you don't know what she's like. And I'll only pester you until you give in so you, you could save us both a lot of time. Please, Dad. And if Steph moves away... You move out again. Straight away, I promise. <sighs> you won't regret it, Dad. Not for a minute. <laughs> Cheers. Right, then. And what's the last pancake? <laughs> Must be joking. I never want to see another pancake, Robert. <laughs> I think we're best tied it away before... Oh, too late. What the? What the hell's been going on? I think I'm going a bit. Oh, it's all right. Come on, Victoria. Run upstairs. Quick, come on. Stretch it through the hamstring on the other side. Chest is high. 
coming nice and tight. Right leg down, left leg back. Take your hands behind you. Open. Up. I'm just trying to find the right spot. Ooh. What have you been doing all day? Watching telly? No, my darling. Good. What have you had anyway? I beg your pardon? Oh, I can sit around watching telly all day. That's what I feel like. Are you all right? No, no, I'm not. I've been thinking. And there's going to be some changes round here. Well, like what? Like what? Well, like, from now on, I'm going to be the one giving the orders and you're going to be the one taking them. You got that, lady? Have you been drinking? No, but I will be. Lords. Lords. And what are you going to do about it? Was that a John Wayne film you were watching? Trisha! I'm going for a bath. What's for tea? I'm starving. Um, oh, it don't matter. I stick anything on. Just have it ready for when I get out of the bath, yeah? Ow! Hi. Hiya. Uh, everything all right? Yeah. Look, I've got a bit of a problem with Debbie. Look, Emily, I don't want to seem like I don't care, right, but I am the last person you want to be talking to about her, don't you think? I know, and I wouldn't be asking if I didn't think it were really important. Oh, Emily... Oh, please just listen. It's Pat's funeral tomorrow. Yeah, I know that. I hoped you might be going. Well, I'm not. Now, Debbie's going through a really bad time at the moment. Well, Bill thinks that Paddy and I should keep our distance for a bit. Sounds reasonable to me. So, for her sake, I was wondering if you might think about going there. Just so she's got someone. Oh, were you? Well, I'm sorry, Emily, but I'm not going to do Look, it. Look, I know you didn't ask for Debbie to come and find you after all these years. No, I didn't. And I dare say, given time, she'll get over the fact that you don't want her. But tomorrow, if you could just find it in yourself to go to the funeral, she needn't know it's for her sake. I mean, you knew Pat too, didn't you? Just so there's a familiar face. Emily, sometimes you really do act as stupid as you look. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Charity. This is your uncle Chris. Sorry, we're so long. I just wanted to show her everything. Can I? Oh, you are beautiful, aren't you? Hey, this is your new home. Aren't you beautiful? And we're going to be very happy. Hey. Yes. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>